What did the Prophet mean with Ajwa dates? Yeah, I mean, this thing about Ajwa dates, in my understanding, the, the Prophet, what he meant by that, if we, can, if we accept that hadith to be Sahih, this was simply the Prophet highlighting the kind of strength of some, you know, like if, because the dates was a, it was a staple diet of the Arabs. And the Prophet saying, you know, oh, if you ate dates, like, it's so good, not even magic could touch you. You know, it's like, it's in that sense. It's not like uh, it wasn't, the Prophet wasn't teaching like religion in it, by saying that. He was saying it, emphasized, like when the Prophet said in a hadith that uh, a, a, a home or a house which has dates in it, its occupants or its family inhabitants are never uh, hungry. Now that doesn't mean that, that, that that's not like a religious statement. Like, oh, if I put three dates in my house now, three pieces of date, oh, I'll never be hungry. That's not what the prophet meant. He's just trying to say that, whoa, like, if you've got dates at home, like, and you're still looking for food, like, that's just a statement, like saying, whoa, like, you know, you're looking for food and you've got dates. Because, by the way, their dates weren't the, these kind of small, small, they had the huge, massive kind of dates as well. But, so when he said, like, oh, if anybody ate seven of these, let alone other things, magic poison couldn't even harm that person. You know, that's just a, it's hyperbole. It's like a hyperbolic kind of exaggerated statement just to kind of praise the food. Yeah, like we could say, oh, if you had biryani at home, how could you be hungry? Allah, Allah. Spices at home, huh? <laughs> if you had a nail at home, how could you be single? <laughs> this gives a whole new meaning to screws. <laughs> you are screwed. <laughs> right, so anyway. 